Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome back to Resto 101. This episode's going to be similar to the last one, really, where, but this time, rather than putting the blocks into the input, you just chuck them in like that sort of thing. So it can be any item thrown in, kind of like on the Minecraft Dota map, which we had a bit of a play on last time, and some of you may have played it as well. This is the sort of a setup that I've made up. You can probably tell where I got the idea from, around the weapons box in the corner. Uh, this takes seven items, so throw that in. You should be able to hear a piston if my sound wasn't so low. Let's give that another try. There you go, you should be able to hear hitting a button. So anyway, we'll get rid of all this TNT, I don't need it all. You can probably tell I was messing around with it a bit before, trying to make some cannons. Which I have worked out, so if you want to do an episode on cannons, that's always fun. I can do that. Uh, and then... And that should open up, and it would dispense a block, except for the fact there's nothing in there at the moment. And I can't bother chucking another seven objects into there. I could, maybe later on, but not for now. You probably want to know how to make that, because that's what this episode's about. And it's pretty fun, and it looks pretty complicated at first, but it, it really isn't. Um, so that takes seven items. Um, but here you can see that I've got one of these things here. Two, three, four, five, six of those things. And the amount of items you have to put into it is one more than that, because if we build one of these separately, I'll show you what it actually does. <coughs> Sorry. It's a sort of a T-flip-flop E-type design. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way of describing it, really. That is probably the best way of describing it. It's a T-flip-floppy design. It's very floppy. Um, I just want one of them. What am I doing? Get rid of that. I only want one of them, because I just don't like having numbers, because it's creative mode. I've got infinite amount. So... I've got infinite amount, that's awful grammar, whatever. I want a button as well. Just to show that it is kind of like a T-flip-flop. So, if I just put these in on first, I can't remember the ticks. I think that's just too fully delayed, and that's it. If we ignore that bit for now, because as you can see, that's an RS Norlatch, if anyone can recognise that, which it, which it is, which you probably might be able to if you're watching this video. Um, so we'll ignore that for now, we'll just put those two bits of redstone there. And then what this is here is one, two, three, and then those two are on max. And then we have a sticky piston. Oh, I should have a sticky piston. Get rid of that. I don't know why I've got a diamond sword, because it's creative mode. I don't need it. I just take comfort in knowing it's there. <laughs> so anyway, oh yeah, the T flip-flop design, sorry, is we do need this here to save the state that it's in. So we'll put that there and that there. We want this side to be off, so we'll power that torch first. Turn that side off. Like that, and then when we bring this over here, that should turn it on. I honestly can't remember. It did work, and I did have it. I was like, oh, that's a T flip flop, and I didn't realise. But so as you can see, yeah, that turns off now. And when you press it again, doesn't turn back on. Okay, it it did work like a T flip flop. But anyway, we'll ignore that for now. Basically what this does is when you have the since this is saved on now, you may have noticed. So if we, we just need to reset that. Uh, that needs to be there. We'll reset that. Get a grass block out. Go to the water bucket. Okay, so that's reset. But basically what'll happen is when you chuck an item in, we'll pretend that this is where you throw it in. Uh we want to have a pressure plate, but we want the items to drop through the pressure plate, so we'll have a fence block and we'll have a pressure plate. So we'll put the fence block there and then the pressure plate on top. In fact, that won't work. There we go. Now it will. We'll put the pressure plate on top like that. And when you chuck an item at it, it'll just fall straight through the side of it. And it should activate. That's not working. But anyway, what that does then is when you press that through, it saves the output here. This turns on. So when you put in another item, you just stand on it this time, it goes through it. And then, of course, I'll activate the next one and activate the next one. And it's going night time. And I've not got single player commands installed for some reason. That's annoying. Um, let's just go. Let's make it bright for now then. Yeah, that's pretty bright. The shader makes everything bright anyway. So let's just chuck it. Let's chuck, chuck it. Uh, let's chuck a item in here. So let's just get 64 shrooms because we all like shrooms. Uh, we'll, so we'll chuck one in there. You'll see it activates that, and then it turns off, and then it turns this on. That's, the reason that's delayed so much is to stop the redstone current from going through anyway. It turns off before this activates, otherwise it'd just activate the entire thing. So that's now saved. So when we chuck another item in, like that, it'll go on to the next one and it'll activate that. So of course one opens that, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, and then the seventh one will go straight around the entire thing, and then 
dispense what we want. That All that there is to open up the block that I was hiding it with, which is that one there. Okay, so I sort of built that a bit haphazardly, so you might not have been able to follow when I was building that. So we'll go over that quickly again. So you want to have a nice big line of redstone. I think it's five. Nope, it's four. <laughs> and then you want a redstone a repeater there and there. You want to build an RS null latch here. So we'll put make, make like a back to front L shape. No, that's wrong. No, it's not. It is a back to front L shape, but you want to have one on top like that. Put another one diagonally to it, and then just like that. And then we saw you want to make a clock here, but it's a two clock, so it's stable. And that's what an RS null latch is, if you didn't know that. Because these tutorials are designed for everyone to be able to build this. But if you wanted to build something like this, you probably want to have a bit of redstone knowledge anyway. But if you want to build a Nazi zombies map, this is how you build a random weapons box. There, that's basically why. <laughs> so anyway, when you, when you do this, basically you've got two outputs. This output arrives permanently before this one. After that one turns off. Like that. And that will and stay on forever. So of course we'll turn that back off again. And then you want to put a sticky piston there and a block. And that is all it is, just just that. <laughs> that is basically it. And then, of course, if you want to have like more items. So if you want to have, say like you want to have the Oh, hang on, yeah, I've not shown that bit. You can you can tell I've not planned this episode before. Bear with me. You want to know how that this is a bit that I need to show, how to get the output out. Inputs to go in, even. Not output out. I've had a long day. I've finished my exams today. Oh, it's been a, it's a good day. Last exam today, so I can just make videos now. So there are going to be more videos. That's what I needed to say. That was the critical thing that I forgot about. <laughs> so anyway, we want to have a fence post there. Knock out these three so that there's space for items to fall into the void. And then you want to have a wooden pressure plate. That's why it wasn't working before. There must have been so, so many people screaming at me about that. That's really frustrating. That'll just activate that now, see. So... We want to put a, no, a wooden pressure plate on there. But of course you want to have the items to come down to it. So what I usually do is... What you can do is... is that, no. I just thought it, the shader was looking different, but it wasn't. <laughs> I've had a long day. I keep making excuses, but they are legitimate excuses, I swear. Um, so anyway, um, what I do is when you chuck an item in, water carries it over the pressure plate. So that if you were to chuck it directly on top, there is a chance it will balance directly on top. And I just lost my water bucket. Uh, there is a chance that you will loot that it will just bounce on top of the fence post. I lost it again, but uh, I'd never done that. But to keep it, in fact, I've got plenty of shrooms. Why don't you just try it with that? There we go. And it stays on top of it. That's not exactly ideal. You want it to go down, so you want it to drift onto the side of it. So we could just put water in, not that low, one block higher. But if I put water in like that, and I chuck an item in, it moves pretty damn slowly. That's not really ideal for what we want. We want it to be quick. So if you knock out all those, a little trick is to put ice underneath it. And then put water down. Like that. And when you chuck an item in now, much, much faster. So that's pretty good. So you can chuck items in there, chuck items in there. See, they're there even before they get halfway. So, whoops. That's, not, that's what we're going to use. So we'll put ice in there like that. You know, we just want a normal block now to, put, to house the water that and put the water in and that'll just do like that really so then we'll wall that off like that and then of course just have it like that in the wall of course what I did here over there though is instead of having it like that I had it a bit more accessible rather than having a loop around it I put, a, I put that there instead so instead of these two blocks are there I put a chest, and then that let me get rid of those ones. I left that there anyway, just so you couldn't see down it. But then when you do that, when you chuck an item in, like that, it'll activate it. This is already activated, though, so it makes no difference. So that's what the output is there. Now, the way you get it to reset, of course, is that when you have a dispenser, um, because, of course, you want to have, you want to have a, an actual output, so I'll just shove a dispenser there for the hell of it. The output, of course, when you put an item through, it will activate that dispenser like that so we'll go through activate the dispenser you only want it to do it once every time you put some an item in so it's always a good idea well you have to even unless you unless it's an adventure map and you only want it to work once to put this through like that so when you put chuck an item in it'll activate it 
but it'll also reactivate this side of this um, RS null latch, retracting that piston. So when you put another item in, it'll get it ready for the next one. And it just retracts like that. So this will this sort so using one of those of course would be used if you want the the shop or the random weapons box. I say shop because I'm I'm making a map at the moment where you can buy things off the wall similar to this, which is pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with it. And that that's the way this works. If you want to have two items, just use one of these. If you want to have three items, use two of them. Basically the cost. Of course if you only wanted to have one item, you just link it up to the dispenser. <laughs> before anyone asks that, because I was wondering that first. I was like, wait a second, and then realised how simple it was, and I was really annoyed at myself. <laughs> and that's basically it for this episode. Um, sort of half and half, really, rather than rather than just going over the redstone, it's really just getting back into the swing of making videos, really, because we finished our exams now, so we can go back to making videos more often, which is good news, because I like making videos, and that's good, because there's no revision for boring subjects at school. That's about it for this video bit more rambly than usual and I will see you in the next video.